The intricate tiles. Natural marks. The cut of the skin. Authentic American alligator. This distinctive leather allows designers to create pieces that are truly original. Designers are able to look beyond the myths of limited style and color and recognize alligator for what it is. The uniquely American leather. With its captivating beauty and exceptional versatility, the popularity of American alligator leather is on the rise. And it all begins with the cut. Alligator leather offers two different cuts of skin, the belly and the hornback, each maximizing a certain attribute of the skin. The belly cut offers a soft and pliable leather of low profile tiles. The hornback cut takes advantage of the stiffer raised portion of the skin and provides a more rigid and dimensional leather. As for durability, the belly and the back have similar abrasion resistance and both are very tear resistant. They are also similar in strength, although the back is slightly stronger. Physical tests done at Louisiana State University indicate that each cut and finish will have its own individual construction characteristics, which should be taken into consideration when ordering the skins. Alligator skins are collected from a number of sources and are available in a variety of sizes. Skins averaging four feet long usually come from alligator farms. Larger skins are collected through authorized trapping or annual public hunts. Florida. Each skin is tagged with a registered serial number, showing it meets the strict worldwide environmental rules and regulations of international trade. This allows designers to identify authentic and legal alligator leather. The price of a skin is determined by measuring the widest part of its belly. 41. Each finished skin is sold in linear centimeters and must be purchased as a whole skin. Each tanner has his own special trade secrets, but five of the most popular finishes include the Classic, Bombay, Matte, Garment, and Nubuck. The Classic finish closely resembles a glossy patent leather and is used in products that need body to hold a specific shape. The Bombay finish is similar to Classic, though its tiles are puffed more to achieve a slight bubble look. The matte finish is typically applied to hornback cuts to reduce their natural rigidity, although it can also be used to further soften belly cuts. Today, improvements and new approaches to the tanning process are providing a greater variety of finishes. The garment or cloth finish, for instance, provides the greatest degree of drape and flexibility, and Nubuck captures the plush feel of suede while maintaining the alligator's distinctive tile pattern. The quality of the finished skins varies from blemish-free tiles to scars or variances in tile patterns that add character and personality to the leather. From pastels to jewels to earth tones, designers can choose from a wide spectrum of colors. Although the basic browns and blacks have been the most commonly used, American alligator leather suppliers can produce just about any color requested. Whether it's a unique hue, a specific finish, or special cut, designers are encouraged to make custom orders. By entering into a dialogue with U.S. tanners, designers can cut lead time and cost by ordering finished skins to their exact specifications domestically. In fact, alligator leather from domestic tanners usually has a turnaround time of only three to six weeks. Sewability must be considered along with the design concept. From using a blade rather than scissors to get clean, even edges, to shaping the leather with seams and darts. Sewing any piece of alligator is similar to working with traditional leather. Before sewing begins, 
the tension of the machine must be adjusted to accommodate the skins. While any of the skins can be handled by a leather contractor, softer skins can be handled by regular leather machines that come with a walking foot. Softer skins can be sewn with a cotton or poly thread. Firmer skins should use a heavy polyester thread in T40 to T60, a poly V-core for instance. Also, while a size 16 or 18 needle can be used for medium and soft skins, diamond point needles should be used for hard leather. When sewing alligator pieces together, regular seams work well for softer leather. Harder leather often requires overlap seams, using a quarter inch seam allowance sewn with a top stitch. While overlap seams leave raw edges, they are an acceptable finish and it eliminates bulky seam allowances. Care and cleaning depend on how the alligator leather is used. Although the alligator itself thrives in water, finished alligator does not, so it's best to avoid wet conditions. Leather products such as shoes and handbags with a classic or Bombay finish should be simply buffed with a dry soft cloth. Items with matte finishes work well with quality leather creams such as mink oil or beeswax. Furniture or automotive upholstery should be cared for depending on the type of finish. For cleaning alligator garments that have fabric components, such as collars or cuffs, a professional leather cleaner should be consulted. The American alligator is a conservation success story. All American alligator originates from the southeastern United States, primarily Florida and Louisiana. The alligator industry takes great pride in its efforts to protect the wild alligator and its natural habitat. As a result of their hard work and conservation programs, the American alligator has been off the endangered species list for over a decade. The industry has also worked to become more efficient in its use of alligators. From the beautiful leather to the delicious meat, all parts of the American alligator are processed. As in cattle production, little is wasted. Over the years, there has been confusion in distinguishing authentic American alligator leather from the many faux leathers on the market. While faux leathers lack the durability, elegance, and quality of real alligator, one of the most important differences is the alligator's distinctive pattern. Authentic alligator leather does not have the repeat patterns found in faux or imprinted alligator. Each tile has its own unique square-like shape, so each skin and product is an original even if the style is produced more than once. Often, American alligator leather is marked as crocodile. In authentic American alligator, small uneven lines will be apparent at the bottom of the medium to larger tiles. Crocodile will often have a tiny dot somewhere within the tiles. Although the American alligator is technically in the crocodile family, labeling the leather as crocodile actually misses an excellent opportunity to promote an American product. The market is ripe for new styles and products using alligator leather. While the majority of alligator leather is used in fashion accessories such as handbags, belts and shoes, consumers are ready for new uses. A recent consumer survey of mid to upper income households indicated that if there was a greater variety of applications, they would purchase more alligator products. The timing is right for designers and manufacturers to capitalize on this opportunity. There's a spirit of adventure working with the leather, knowing that every alligator design will be unique because every alligator skin is unique. Whether it's the up and coming styles for the younger generation or the traditional tastes of the more established higher income group, the number of new and exciting applications of authentic American alligator leather is as limitless as the designer's imagination.